So it's been one awesome day uh, going to Dumaguete, getting the fans, checking out Alex's house. Again, huge shout out to all my Patreon members and people who donated for the typhoon relief uh, victims and all that. Um, as for Patreon, we're posting every Wednesday and Saturday kind of a behind the scenes video or photo or whatever. Not just underwater, just uh, you know, behind the scenes of the whole situation, life here in Darwin, filming, whatever. Anyways, it's almost 6.30, it's time for a night dive. I don't like to get in the water before 6.30 for a night dive. That's when it's darkest and critters start coming out. But I gotta put some grease on my O-rings and then go get in the car and meet the crew down at the dive site. So let's go dive. Everybody loves a little flatworm action. And I promise, I know I've been saying it, but I promise I'm going to start showing you guys how big or small these are by comparing them to something else that you're used to. But, well, since I didn't do that in this video, I have to tell you, it's, it's probably about five or six inches long. It's not that small. I mean, they're super flat, <laughs> as you can see. But this flatworm, yeah, it was just really photogenic. I can say that much. But on the other end of the spectrum, these tiny little guys were about one centimeter long. And they were just hanging out on this little driftwood. It's cool when I can see a feathered sea star just swimming around. They, they're crazy how they can get around like that. Now this is a Trepania species of nudibranch and he is really small. I really do regret not showing you how small this guy really is because this is zoomed in on super macro mode with the TG6 and it's let's say probably about 10 millimeters long so pretty tiny. This frogfish is also tiny. I mean, you can see the grains of sand around him. And, and I'd say he's about two centimeters long. Not the tiniest frogfish, but still, he's pretty photogenic as well. You can see how many different species of frogs there are on any dive here during the right season. This one kind of twirls his back fin to kind of mimic a poisonous flatworm. And I guess it's because he doesn't have great camouflage. He really sticks out. Now finally I'm showing you how tiny these guys are. This is a wedding ring and you can imagine how small a wedding ring is and this frogfish can fit inside of it. This guy is really weird looking. He's got little holes all over him. I believe it's a warty frogfish but I could be wrong. They get pretty hard to identify when they're so tiny. Here he is again, I was just following him around and uh, these guys are so cool. But I'm about to show you some frogfish footage that really, really surprised us and I can't believe we actually caught it on film. So this is an oscillated frogfish and as you can see, there's another one coming. Now it looks like a hairy frogfish and I get him confused all the time. But this is a, I had to ask around and it's, it's actually an oscillated frogfish. And the small one is a male. Oh my God, he just got eaten. Yeah, so I had to show this footage to a marine biologist to figure out what happened here. But he said the big one is a female and the small one is a male. They're both oscillated frogfish. And the small one came over to flirt and he got eaten. Now I know this clip is kind of ruined by all the plankton in the water. Normally we wouldn't even use it. What? Why is he flicking his tail like that? 
He's just wiggling his tail so fast. I think the frogfish is still alive inside this frogfish. It's hilarious footage. Anyways, enough with the frogfish, because on every dive we see so many. I probably didn't even film half of them. But here's one of my favorite critters of all time in the entire ocean, a little flamboyant cuttlefish. I love this little guy. The thing is, I was following him around and filming him for probably like 20 minutes on this dive, but little did I know that it's pregnant and a few days later we would find it laying eggs. So in some upcoming clips, we're gonna have this guy next to his eggs and then hopefully in the upcoming weeks, maybe we can see the little eggs with something growing inside, who knows? Maybe if we're really lucky, we can catch them hatching. I'd love to see a baby flamboyant cuttlefish. It's always awesome to see how they change colors and morph and yeah, these guys are amazing. Well, there's clownfish pretty much on every dive site in Philippines, I bet. And it's no exception today. But look at this. Speaking of eggs with the frogfish, check out these little Nemo eggs. So this, if you can see behind these eggs, they're actually on a green wine bottle. The Nemo's found uh, the wine bottle and laid their eggs on there right next to their sea anemone and they just go back and forth cleaning the eggs it's pretty cute anyways guys thank you so much for watching we got a lot more episodes coming soon make sure to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one